Hello everyone, welcome back to X Machines channel. High pressure cylinders are metal containers designed for storing gases and for dispensing them at high pressure. High pressure cylinders are also called gas cylinders. They have many applications in life such as healthcare, environment, medical, petrochemical, industrial hygiene, food and other fields. Fire extinguishers and oxygen tanks the contents are often flammable, so the challenge is how to make these often life-saving cylinders safe yet still easy enough to use. In this video, X Machines takes you to industry-leading factories to explore the manufacturing process of high-pressure steel cylinders, including two parts, production of seamless tubes, and production of high-pressure cylinders from seamless tubes. We'll tour the 500,000-square-foot facility in Chicago, Illinois of Atlas Pipe Piles Company. This facility features three production lines at peak production speed the Atlas. The input material for the production of seamless steel pipe is hot rolled coil steel. They are 100% made and melted in North America. Beginning of production, Atlas technicians test incoming steel coils for tensile properties and yield to maintain flexibility and quality. The size of the coil to be fed into the line will depend on the diameter of the pipe to be produced. The coil is fed into the tube forming line and solder to the previous coil to ensure continuous production. This end weld is also called a butt weld, it is cut out and scrapped and never makes the pipe. An accumulator stores up to four coils, so that the subsequent stages within the process never experience a material lag, this ensures maximum efficiency. The steel plate from the coil enters the production line. There are five forming rolls, they work like rolling pins to shape the welded steel strip into a curve, each one bevels the pipe a bit deeper until the flat pipe takes on a U-shape about 70% of its finished shape. Finally the rolling presses change from convex to concave and gradually push the ends together. In this step, they line up evenly and the strip edges are burnished clean to ensure a high quality weld the next step in the process. The two edges of the steel pipe are sealed by resistance welding. At this time the weld temperature can be up to 2700 degrees Fahrenheit, while the line is running at speeds of up to 120 feet per minute. This is a modern welding technology that results in a continuous longitudinal weld with pinpoint accuracy. In the final steps, the pipe is checked and welded to ensure that there are no exposed welds. It is then labeled an iron flat while still hot. To prevent the weld from cracking or splitting, the pipe is cooled gradually with a continuous flow of water and coolant. To ensure the best and consistent product quality, the pipe samples will be hydraulically tested before they can be shipped and delivered to the customer. Right now we are at the material storage yard of Anhui Green Energy Company, Limited based in China. At this factory, we will explore the manufacturing process of high-pressure cylinder from steel pipe. The steel pipe is fed into the cutter and cut into small pieces suitable for the size of the gas cylinder to be produced. The typical cylinder design is slender, flat-bottomed and upright, with valves and accessories on the top for connecting receiving equipment.
The pipe sections after being cut will follow the chain to the next step, where one end of the pipe is put into a furnace heated at a temperature of about 150 to 600 degrees Celsius depending on the thickness of the pipe wall. The heated end of the tube then undergoes a hot spinning process to form the bottom of the cylinder. Hot spinning involves spinning a piece of metal on a lathe while high heat from a torch is applied to the workpiece. Once heated, the metal is then shaped as the tool on the lathe presses against the heated surface forcing it to distort as it spins. Then the cylinder is placed in a device that spins it at 1000 revolutions per minute as a torch maintains the temperature the machine shapes the edges of the searing hot metal into a curve. In this way the machine gradually closes off the top end and shapes two rounded areas called the shoulder and neck. Making these areas curved is the best way to contain pressurized gases curves spread out the stress on the middle, the sharp corner would focus, the stress in one spot the only exit for gases will be through a valve at the top. After that, the gas cylinders will undergo heat treatment. This is the process of heating metal without letting it reach its molten, or melting, stage, and then cooling the metal in a controlled way to select desired mechanical properties. These transitions between hot and cold a process called tempering strengthen the metal and make it somewhat flexible. After going through the heating process many times, the gas cylinder has a lot of dirt on the outside. The gas cylinders need to be run through the polishing machine to remove the layers of dirt and polish the outside. In this step, the gas cylinder neck will be threaded to install the locking valve system, then drill holes for air to flow from the tank out through the valve system that will be installed later.
the gas cylinders have to be tested for strength and leaks. The hydrostatic pressure test involves filling the cylinders with water and pressurization of the cylinders in order to test the pressure. The pressure tightness can be tested by shutting off the supply valve and observing whether there is a pressure loss. A hydraulic press indents the shoulder of the cylinder with legally required markings, such as the manufacturing date and the serial number. In the final stage, the gas cylinders are transferred to the paint line for painting and then packing. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. Please click like if you find the video interesting and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to follow other X Machines videos.